Okay, so I'm coming right back where we were. Uh, I'm going to apply this, and then I'm going to save this. File save document as, and I'm going to save it as movers3. Okay, so let's go back in and look at this again. Okay, so we want, uh, what we're getting in a time list is uh, a list of whatever we put in. Uh, we're getting a list of positions. Uh, we're getting a list. For each item in this list represents a moment in time. Okay, that's, I think, the clearest way to say it. Uh, so in our time list, each item that we have in that time list represents one moment in time. And uh, so this is our moment in time right here. So uh, what, have, what do we have in that moment of time? We have a position. We put a position list. And that list uh, holds the positions for each one of the movers. So we have an empty list. We're filling it with the position for each one of the movers. Uh, and then, so we're, we're, then we're passing that list. We're pending it to the time list. So let's print time list and see what we get. Okay, so we get a bunch of geometry. So let's make this smaller. See, right now we're having have about 800 moments of time. We're gonna drop this down to. Uh, let's put it at three. So we have three moments in time. The number number of movers is two. So let's go down. Let's test this. Uh, and actually, let's drop down. Let's just have one mover. Okay, so you can see uh, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but we have uh, uh, I believe that this is the structure that we have down here. So let's uh, let's try to deconstruct this. Uh, so I'm gonna. It may sound like I'm saying the same thing over and over again, but uh, hopefully I say it. <laughs> I say it in one way that will make it clear. So uh, our time list. Our time list has uh, a list of positions, uh, like we have right here. Uh, we have, so it's a list of position lists. Okay, and so our uh, position list uh, holds uh, the position for each mover. So M position, M position. Okay, so let's think about this structure. I'm going to hash those out. Let's test, make sure we don't have any errors. Let's look at, oh, we're in video three. That's important. Not really. Uh, panel. Okay, so we have three lists. For each of those lists, that is our time. So 
the list we have here. So we have a list. We're passing out a list. Uh, okay. We are passing out a list called time list for uh, each item in that time list represents one uh, moment in time. So here we have one moment in time, here we have one moment in time, and here we have one moment in time. Um, okay, so we're going to do, uh, we're going to grab our, our component from list unpack. Uh, so you need to go watch that video if you haven't already. Uh, let me see where it is. Uh, um, sorry about this. Uh, pi list. Pi list unpack. So uh, go watch the video that I have uh, about pi list unpack. And I think I put this component up somewhere on this site. Uh, I'll try to find a link for it and then uh, have have a copy for you somewhere. Uh, oops. Okay, so this is the component we need, and I'll let's take a look at it real quick. Uh, so basically, if X is a, I'm not going to talk about this now. It'll, it's confu It'll, it'll be more clear if I don't address this right now. If we just do a little black box uh, abstraction and just use it. So basically, it just unpacks lists. Okay, so let's now that we're back on track, uh, we pass out a time list. Each of these represents a moment in time, and each of these. Uh, so here's what happens at this moment in time, and then this moment in time, and then this moment in time, is we have one mover. So we have the position of one mover for each moment in time. We're going to raise the number of movers up and so now we have uh, two movers so for each moment in time we have the position for two movers and we have what's our we have a time of three right now and so we have one two three moments in time so let's say we want four moments so that gives us our next moment in time and we have two items in that moment we have uh, two movers so let's look at it let's put in five movers okay so now we have for each moment in time we have five movers and we have four moments of time. So uh, let's pause there and then uh, continue in a, a second.